Hey everybody, uh, welcome to this first real uh, tutorial from Refix's latest product, um, Nexus 3. I already made a few videos, uh, one with a tip, one with sharing my thoughts. Um, that was just us after release. And uh, two where I demo the sounds that you get when you buy the plain Nexus itself, you know, the, the just Nexus itself and not a, a bundle. So, you know, without any board expansions. So that's all I showed until now. So now we're just going to start with the real tutorials. So you can learn how this plugin actually works. So, uh, yes, it's a rampler. So um, I think the best thing to start with would be the library because that's a bit changed. So let's have a look at the library. All right. Um, yeah. What is going on over here? You got your folders, your categories. Add your presets. So uh, something nice they have added is uh, well they've added in an update the previews. They are working right now with all expansions, also the older ones. So um, if you left, if you have turned it on and you left click a mouse on the preset, you can hear the preset. You know you can hear the sound without actually having to load it. That's pretty cool. And you can turn the volume. You know the velocity. It goes up to 127, that's the highest velocity of a keyboard, as if you would touch a key of a keyboard, it's hardest. That would be 127 always. So you can change that over here. You can also turn it off in system over here. Now you got your preview, default preview. You can turn it on or off. So um, that's something that's convenient. Uh, right next to it, while I'm at it, you can set favorites that's what I always do when I go through the presets I see something I like or I hear something I like I just click on it and set it as favorites and now I can just when I'm done with that or when I'm having enough I just click on that heart symbol and I get the list of all my favorites so I won't have to search them back again and another thing that's pretty cool is also if I click on it again, this turns red and the heart turns right. Now they are excluded from the folders, you know, from the library. So if you see if I click it again, you see now they are back in it. So you can not only uh, select only your favorites, but you can also, um, what's the word for that, exclude them from your library. So maybe for favorites, that's not as convenient. Well, actually it is because if you already have a lot of favorites, but you're not done yet, you would exclude them. And you can, yeah, I don't know if that's easy. Never mind. I wanted to say like, you know, if you exclude them, you know that you're not going to see all your favorites in that list. So you won't have to see them again. But yeah, what's the point of that actually? Uh, it is convenient to add this, you know, we got this new color over here um, they colored it but you know it's it, uh, it's a type of sounds you know dark sounds bright sounds active spiky white or dirty that's just that's something over here if you do this you reset all filters it's also pretty nice but let's say I only want dark sounds I will click on that and I will see only the dark sounds and also in the library always you can see um, what uh, what they think is uh, fits that a certain color or for a certain category, you know, because I, I don't agree with all of them, but okay, whatever they want. So you can exclude them. So I don't like dark sounds, I exclude them. So I won't have to see them. They won't show in my library anymore in my results. So that's something. Uh, another thing, you know, if you want to, undo them you just click on that so let's undo them uh, another thing you can um, well let's say let's say you have you found a sound that you like and you've tweaked them so let's load this one let's tweak it oh, I'm gonna do some serious tweaking over here wow have you seen that so now I've tweaked it and I think I want to save that I'm gonna go to over here and I'm gonna save the preset and now it's in your user preset 
So let's just undo that. Delete. Are you sure? Yes. Uh, another thing. Um, you can. Uh, wait. Let's just go first with this one. Just a little bit cutting. You can also uh, make your own uh, folder. So let's just make. Oops. Use a new. I have my own folder. Yeah, let's say just this one. Oops. You right click on it. Add a bookmark. I only have one folder now. No bookmark. Whatever. I'm going to add it to user new. And as you see, it's still in here. So it, it's only a shortcut. It won't remove it from the actual folder it was. It's still in there. But it's also in user new now. So that this way you can create your own folders, and that's pretty convenient, right? So and you can also just if you get tired, if you want to rename it, maybe, or if you get tired of it, just delete it. So boom, delete. It. Okay. So um, yes, I already showed save preset. Um, what else that say? Oh yeah, you can. Um, the font size, you know, these letters, uh, they're pretty small maybe, perhaps, if you have a small screen or if you have not the best eyes, or if you just want a bigger uh, visual. I don't know how to do that with the mouse right now. Maybe they forgot to do that or I'm just stupid. But on the, on the laptop, you just use your trackpad and you swipe with your fingers, as you would do with everything that you want to make larger or smaller. And the thing with this is you can set it as a default right here, you know, set as default the font size. So then you won't have to do it every time. You can also just reset it like that. So that's something I wanted to show you. And let's see, I think I have one more thing and that is uh, this, let's say, uh, you know, it's Christmas right now. So let's say I only want to search uh, through the Christmas folders, but I want to uh, select. I want to search through them all at once uh, on Windows Hold CTRL and you click them all and now only the Christmas expansions show up in my you know in my uh, in my search results so that can be convenient too hmm, if I do movie you will see good as you can see the number uh, oh, oops. you know you can see 44 right now if I do this one if I add this one now let's do the user presets that I do that now should be 46 oh, oh. if I do 128 you will see all 172 you know that is 128 and 44 so it does work so um, yeah I think that's all I want to show you for now I think that's basically the library uh, maybe think yeah that's pretty much it so yeah if you have any questions uh, just ask and uh, yeah have a look out for my next tutorial I don't know if it's really a tutorial because it is not really that complicated but Maybe it's more of an overview. Anyway, uh, if you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button and uh, leave a like. And also leave a comment for questions or for uh, anything else you want to say. It's all appreciated. Alright. So let's leave it at this for now. And uh, I would like to thank you for watching. And I hope to see you in my next video. And I hope it was useful for you. Because that's the most important. Of course. It has to be useful for you. So. Um, let's leave it at this for now. See you in my next video. Peace.